Welcome back to Woodcraft 716. I'm Mike and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome roll around assembly table. Two 75 pound full extension drawers that slides right underneath your counter. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is rip these sheet goods down to a more manageable size. The top is going to be 60 inches so I have my fence set at 61 and a half because most if not all circular saws have an inch and a half from the inside of the blade to the outside of the guide. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So the bottom and the back of these are both 58 and a half inches. So I set my fence to 60 and we're going to cut this and we should get both pieces out of this 48 inch piece. So the top and the bottom are both 28 and a half inches wide. So I set up my fence to cut the far side at 27 and a sixteenth. That'll be the inch and a half plus a sixteenth for the blade. Give me 28 and a half. Now I'll do the same thing for the bottom. Now I'm going to cut the back at 13 inches. This is the leftover from the bottom and 58 and a half inches. Moving on, the outside of the sides are going to be 14 and a half. So I have my set fence set to 14 and a half and we're going to rip this down. This was the leftover from cutting the top at 60 inches, so we should get both sides out of this drop here. This is the drop from the first 4x8 sheet that we ripped down. I'm going to rip it into three 13 inch strips, two for the insides of the sides and one for the center rail. Okay, they're all done and we'll cut them to size. Okay, so we're going to cut the sides, the outside of our sides to 28 and a half. The only problem is my fence on my table saw only goes to 25 and my sled isn't that great. So maybe that'll be another video. So you can do this uh, fairly safely. You just need to uh, keep in mind to take the distance of the blade off so that your far side doesn't come up short and uh, take it slow. Twenty-eight and a half. Now for the insides of the sides and the one center piece we need them at 27 and 3 quarters. Uh, you'll see how this all goes together here in a minute. And that's it. Uh, 
on to the next step. We're going to cut three 1x4s. Uh, the first one we'll call a grab rail. We're going to cut that to 57 inches and then we're going to cut two of the uh, uh, rails that go underneath it for the wheels and they're going to be at 58 and a half. And just like that, all done. Okay, this is the centerpiece of the uh, cart and <clears throat> we need to cut out for the uh, piece of one by for the grab rail. So it's just three quarter by uh, three and a half. Okay, we're over at the drill press and what we're gonna do is drill four one and eight one and an eighth inch holes and then we'll connect them together with the jigsaw and then I'll explain a little more about what and why we were doing this. Now we're just going to connect the holes and cut out the inside piece. Flip it around and do it again. Okay, now we'll have our hand holds. Now that that's done, I'm just going to use my eighth inch round over and clean up the edges real quick. Okay, so this is what I was doing here. Our top is upside down right here, and <clears throat> these handhelds will be to pull the cart out uh, once the top is on and there's drawers in here. Uh, it'll be hard to pull it out. Also, this is the notch that we cut out for the one by, so it'll sit kind of like that. Uh, this being the top upside down and we'll have something to grab onto to pull the cart out. So if you remember earlier we we're talking about the inside of the sides and the outside of the sides. The reason we're doing that is to we're going to double these up for strength and we cut the inside a little bit smaller so that leaves a rabbit around the bottom and the back which will be uh, inset to the bottom panel and the back panel. So I'm just going to glue these together, shoot a couple brad nails in it just so to hold it while the glue dries, and uh, we'll be good. see how that forms a rabbit around the back side and the bottom. Okay now we're going to countersink everything. I've marked it all off so we're going to go ahead and countersink all these Okay, the next thing we'll do is start assembling it. I think we're all set other than uh, gluing it and clamping it and screwing it all together.
Okay, so now I'm going to try and uh, pre-drill and screw these together. Uh, it's important to pre-drill when you're using MDF, uh, otherwise it may split. I'm not real sure how I'm going to do this, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. it over and I'm going to screw the back edge and I have it clamped a few spaces because the back was kind of moving in and out. So it's still flipped over. Uh, what I have to do now is put the screws on the inside of the side panels. I have it raised up. These are drilled into the bottom so that when we put our wheel stretchers on here that it'll be flush. So I'm going to go ahead and put those screws in now. Okay. So I'm going to try to put this center divider in and keep it straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to try and screw it from the back. We'll see what happens. Okay, well I didn't blow through it all. Uh, I need to flip it over and screw the back on. This is actually the bottom. Uh, and this is the back. So. I'll have to flip it on its side and try to put the uh, screws in the back. Okay, so no blow throughs. I think we may have this thing good enough to put together for, for now. I think we'll have to flip it back over and put the wheel runners on the bottom. Okay, we got it flipped over again. <laughs> this thing's starting to get pretty heavy. We're gonna drill and countersink our wheel runners on the bottom here. Okay, no blow throughs. <clears throat> Uh, I think next thing we'll do is put the top on. Okay, this is upside down and these are the sides and the bottom rails. I just wanted to point out that the inside of the sides and the outside of the sides were different sizes and when we glued them together it made this rabbit here which allowed me to screw from the outside here and from the bottom into this one just by staggering my screws down the line. It's a super strong joint and once we put the wheel runner on there, this is just sitting there to show you, when we put the wheel runner on there that gives us the inch and a half and inch and a half. Uh, it'll look uniform when it's all painted. Before we put the top on, I want to uh, put the wheels on because this thing is starting to get pretty heavy. So I'm just going to uh, pre-drill my holes. I have some 3 inch caster wheels with locks that I got from Lowe's. Uh, I'm going to pre-drill the holes. I have them marked off already and screw them on. Uh, they look pretty good. 
The top's not attached yet, but while we have this upside down, I think I'm going to put the the pulls on, uh, mount them to the top so that you'll be able to pull the cart out. I just think it'll be easier than trying to put the screws in upside down or flipping it over again. Bam, just like that. Okay, so I've marked off the top, but I haven't countersunk or drilled the holes yet. So I'm going to glue it around the edges, put the top on, countersink and screw the corners in, and then finish up all the countersinks and uh, screws. Okay, now that the top is on and screwed, they're just under the surface. Um, I'm probably going to sand the top. We're going to give it a coat of paint, but first we're going to add some drawers. Okay, to make the drawers 25 inches deep, 10 inches tall, I'll put that off to the side and rip them down to 10 inches on the table saw. The fronts and backs of the drawers need to be 25 and 5 eighths. Now I have my fence set to 10 inches. We're going to cut two fronts, two backs, and all four sides. That's all done. Uh, these are going to just be basic drawers because this is just a shop project. Had I been making some furniture with some higher grade wood, I would probably, you know, dado and rabbit and uh, join these, maybe even dovetail. Uh, we'll get into those in some later videos. We're just going to countersink, glue, clamp, pre drill, and then screw these together. Uh, and then we'll put the bottoms on after they're good and square. Okay, this box is done. Uh, we're going to square it up real quick and uh, we'll put the bottom on after we do the other side. Okay, this box is ready to uh, get the bottom put on. We'll put the face on after. So I just have this 3 16 Luan and I'm just going to cut the uh, outside of the bottom to fit the bottom of the shelf. Now we're going to rip the width down to fit the bottom. Okay, now I'm just going to glue and screw the bottom on. I'm not going to countersink because it's only 3 16 
and the drawer will be sitting up just a little bit so uh, it, it won't be a problem. boxes are done now all we have to do is uh, put the running rails on and the drawer fronts I'm using these full extension soft close drawers uh, 22 inches and they um, they hold up 75 pounds so it'll be real good for what we're going to use it for and I'll show you an easy way to install it okay so to install the drawer slides it says to put the edge of the slide uh, a sixteenth back from the edge of the casing. So I want my drawer face to be inset inside of the casing and so it's three quarter inch material so I added a sixteenth gives you thirteen sixteenths and I made a line. Then I just cut some sticks um, that I'm gonna put the slide on top of and pre-drill and screw the first oval that I come across when I pull the slide out. So I'll put this on here and I'll line up with my guideline and I'm going to pre-drill that hole and put a screw in. Okay now that that's in I'm going to go back about three quarters of the way and put I'll go back about to the next slot and put a uh, pilot hole and a screw in there and then I will uh, put the other screws in after. Okay so I have my first screw in and my second screw in. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now that both sides are done, I'm going to remove the spacers. And I'm going to put smaller eighth inch spacers just in the middle on the, on the base. Then I slide the drawer in and I pull the drawer slides out until they meet the end of the drawer face. Or not the drawer face, the end of the drawer. Drill it and screw. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. Then keeping the shims in there, I'm going to pull out the drawer and put another screw in. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. Then I'll just take the shims out, check it, and uh, I'll take the drawer out and screw in the rest of the screws along the way. And do the same thing to the other side. Then I'll put one more in the rail on both sides. I'll put the drawer back in. Push it in tight. And that's all there is to it. To make the drawer fronts we need to rip this down to 12 inches. Uh, so I'm going to make two passes at 12 inches and then we'll cut them down to size after. And that's it. We'll cut it down to uh, size and fit them right in there. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and cut these down to size. Okay, now we'll uh, go ahead and get these drawer fronts on. I uh, do need to cut out a little notch in them kind of for a handle. 
uh, you'll see that coming up. Okay, we're back at the drill press and we're just going to drill a couple holes and then connect them with the uh, jigsaw and kind of make a handle out of that. got this thing back up on the table saw uh, so we can get a better look at it I got some uh, scotch tape mounted uh, outdoor double-sided tape uh, it says it's good for 15 pounds so we're gonna try to put our drawer front on so that we can uh, mark it and screw it back on there so I just have a shim underneath here <coughs> that we're gonna put the uh, drawer front on and uh, attach it to the drawer itself. Okay so it should be good now. Uh, we're just gonna pull the drawer out and mark it so that we can take the double sided tape off and uh, screw this thing on. So after looking at it the double sided tape doesn't take up a whole lot of space and uh, it doesn't really leave a gap so I'm just going to uh, attach the drawer to the drawer front from the inside. So I marked it off. Uh, I'm just going to put some uh, six counter sinks in and then put six screws in to uh, hold the drawer front on. Okay, uh, we're all set now. Finally, <laughs> this thing is ready for paint and uh, we'll get it painted real quick. And Okay, uh, let's get some paint on this thing and uh, finish her up. Now that this is almost done, we're going to put the round over uh, just on the top edge, kind of ease this up a little bit. Okay, round it over and looks pretty good. And here it is, all done. I really like to make this project, it was fun. If you remember, I have the door pulls underneath it uh, so we can pull it out and drag it around the shop. Uh, if you got any value out of this, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all the social media things we like to do. Uh, it really helps these small channels go a little bit further. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.